for the latest on our winter storm watch. Things should get downright dangerous on the roads later this week. Brooks is back. What to expect, Brooks? Well, we've got a winter storm watch, which begins tomorrow night. And get this, this is the first winter storm watch that the Houston area has seen since February 2nd of 2011. So just about three years ago. And here it is. It covers the entire area for a mix of snow, sleet, and more so than anything else, some icing, some freezing rain possible on area roadways. Again, this starts off tomorrow night and continues through the afternoon on Friday. High clouds streaming through the skies right now, but this is the system to watch. It is an Arctic blast, and it arrives tomorrow morning very quickly, and it will be sharply colder and very windy and cloudy and raw all day tomorrow with on and off showers of rain. Now, tomorrow evening, an icy mix develops to the north. That then sags southward through the nighttime. Here's 11 o'clock. Notice just north of Houston, we start to see that icy mix, even some snowflakes up around perhaps Huntsville and Cod Station with a snow, sleet, icy mix continuing through 8 in the morning. And eventually in the afternoon, I think we're probably going to warm up just enough where it's above freezing. But then at night when it starts cooling down a little bit, if there's any moisture left over, we could have another round of a mix of precipitation for Friday before midnight. After sunset. Interesting to think about that. Okay, let's talk about our local area now with the uh, possibilities here. In the pink areas, this is where I think we're going to have that light sleet and icing with the heaviest concentration of it from Houston along I 10 and 59 points west. That does include Sugarland, also Rosenberg, and once you get out into places like Wharton County, we could have up to an eighth of an inch of ice, maybe a little bit more accretion on some uh, trees, bushes, elevated roadways like bridges and overpasses. I do think it's probably going to be too warm on area roads to have some of those surface roads ice up, but of course, you know, you know the spots. Be careful out there. Houston sees a lot of wrecks whenever it just rains. So if you add some ice into the mix, it could get pretty nasty. Look for just plain old rain along the immediate coastline, but we could certainly see some snow showers up toward Huntsville and College Station. For a more detailed and longer look at this map, go to my Facebook page, KHOU Brooks Garner, or on Twitter, Brooks KHOU. I think it's going to dissipate to just cloudiness once you get northeast of Cleveland. So let's talk about specifics. This is future track starting off tonight at 11 o'clock. So we're going to see some big changes by tomorrow morning. Arctic front arrives. Soon thereafter, rain develops periodically during the day tomorrow. Could be briefly heavy, but it's just going to be kind of a drizzly, kind of a showery, raw day tomorrow. You will need a jacket. And the travel just wet. Now, it starts to get a little bit dicey on the roadways with potential slippery travel at 2 a.m. on Friday morning. That's when we start to see some of these pink colorations for that icy mix. By the way, the white up here is snow. And keep in mind, the blue and the yellows, this is just plain old rain at different intensities. So as we travel through the morning, the freezing line sags south almost to the coastline. We get an icy mix of freezing rain, sleet, and snow. And that's the story. Now, there are a couple ifs in this. There's a chance that the precipitation moves out of the region before the cold air arrives. It's not a high chance, but it's something we're tracking, so this is not a guarantee. It's a winter storm watch, not a warning. So stay tuned if a warning is posted. At this point, we've got a 60% chance for frozen precipitation, which is likely, but not a guarantee. In Houston, it's always very changeable. But look what happens on Sunday, back up to near 70. Just a, a brief mess. shot. Just a mess coming. <laughs> right. Sure is. Thank you, sir. Okay.